Hey guys, it's Allie from Bay Area HQ, and we're under the tent for Adicio, the new show coming to San Francisco this holiday season. But first, we need to talk to the stars of The Man in the High Castle, Alexa Duvalos and Luke Kleintank. Alexa and Luke, love the new show. How's the fan reaction been so far? Yeah, I think, I mean, I think through the, because you kind of have that relationship on the, on, on the website for Amazon Prime, so people comment, you know, um, after they watch it and they rate it. So going through those comments, you can kind of see you know what people are thinking and uh, the you know the response has been pretty positive so far um, and the people that I've you know my family and you know people that I my friends and people that I love really enjoy the show and uh, everyone we seem to be interviewing with is really happy about it and they're really intrigued and they just they want to binge watch it when it comes out this Friday. If you were to binge watch the show who would you watch the series with and what would you need to stay comfortable through the entire series? Popcorn. <laughs> says popcorn. Um, a blindfold, <clears throat> I think. I think watching myself is one of the most excruciating things in the world, um, but I would love to be able to watch the show and, and, and watch everyone else in it, because I'm so incredibly proud of, of every single person on this project. Um, so blindfold, for one, and um, gosh, I don't know. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to watch the show with every all the whole cast. That would be fun. You know, because when you're watching it, we can all laugh because we know we know what's happening behind the scenes, or what happened during that day during that scene. So that that's always fun to kind of, you know, just to joke around. Now there's a lot of torture and interrogation in this show. Do you think you'd be able to withstand all that, or would you break and give up the information? No, I, I think I, I think me personally being. <laughs> A slightly over emotional person, I think that I, I don't know that I would be able to tolerate that on any level. Really. It's, it's, it's hard to say. You know, I think it's very hard to say. That's, that, that's, a, that's a huge question. I think, I don't think until you're, you know, put in that circumstance, you really know, you really know who you are. What in, you're made in the, of. Yeah, what you're made of in the circumstances, you know, so. Now, Luke, Robert Benton, who directed Alexa in Feast of Love, had this to say about your co-star. She has an instinct for getting into the heart of something. She has that thing that Meryl Streep has. She can read the telephone book and make you cry. I didn't know he said you know, that, and it, he means so much to me. I just, you just made me well up. <laughs> um, I agree with him wholeheartedly. She's an amazing actress, and she gives so much. And uh, we've kind of been each other's guardian angels through this. Yeah. And, um, yeah. She's pretty incredible. Don't put him on the spot or anything. Jeez. Well, I'm being <laughs> honest. She, she is incredible. She's an incredible actress. And more than that, you are an incredible person. Thank you, man. You're welcome. Now, the show is set in 1962, but the Japanese and the Nazis won, meaning they took over the U.S. and no British invasion. What Beatles song would you miss the most? Let It Be. Oh, God. I said so Let It Be. Many, uh, nowhere Man. Luke, I know you're into geocaching. If each of your characters could put something into a geocache box, what would it be? Geocaching is kind of, uh, you, you know, people put out these boxes and they put, they put items in there and then they, you know, they hide them and then you can kind of find the coordinates and you go find them and you take something or put something in. You sign a ledger saying, you know, you were here at this day, okay. at this time. And, um, what would I put in a G My character, um, a pack of cigarettes. <laughs> he smokes a lot. <laughs> oh, God. Um, probably a letter to her mom. <laughs> well, thanks, guys. It was great talking to you, and we'll be sure to watch The Man in the High Castle coming out on Amazon this weekend.